All right, Stacey, thanks for that. The building that collapsed is at the center of a legal battle in Washington. Its owner has been cited numerous times for safety violations. Lynn Hayes Freeland is live with that part of our story. Lynn. Susan, there are a lot of questions about this building tonight, and the answer seems to depend on who you talk to. Now, if you talk to the city, they'll tell you they have cited the owner in this building many times. If you talk to people who live in this building, they say that they have complained that they had cracks that went unrepaired. But if you talk to the owner, which I did by phone, he says that a lot of this criticism of him as a landlord is simply unfair. He has been cited many times. Officials here in Washington say they know this building well and they know the owner, Mark Russo. But they say they know him because he has not been a good property owner here. Mr. Russo is uh, going to have to go to court on Tuesday. We're going to have to uh, lean him for the cost of this demolition and uh, see what else we can do. That court date is related to citations filed against Russo back in March. City officials say bricks were falling from the wall in the back of the building and inside cracks in the wall were not being repaired. Russo would not go on camera, but by phone, he told me, a tenant reported a crack in the wall and I was given 60 days to repair it. I fixed it twice. He went on to say there were some bricks that fell from the building and it appeared to be related to the heat. A contractor came over this past weekend and replaced some of the bricks and had to order others because the original bricks were shattered. Now the city wants to tear the entire building down. We asked the judge to grant us an emergency demolition so once the structure is uh uh, made as safe as possible, everybody's gotten out of there, then hopefully we can get a demolition contractor to come in and demolish the property and make it as safe as possible. The city says Russo will be billed for the cost of the demolition and then figure out how to prevent something like this from happening again. We need to explore uh, more strategic measures uh, beyond uh, just citations for property owners. Now, Mr. Russo told me by phone he's hoping his insurance adjuster can get here before that demolition happens so he can resolve some things with his insurance company. He also tells me he owns property throughout Washington County, and he says he's a good landlord. But right now, most of that will be resolved in court. For now, reporting live in downtown Washington, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDK TV News.